can see some feet, Mummy. He's over here. I don't think he is. Yeah. Um, where's Siggy? <gasps> God! Ah! Yeah. Ah! Woody! Woody. 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 Stroke. And Wilma! Woody? Woody? Old people, oh my god, get down before you break your leg. <laughs> yes, come on. Right, let's see who's heavier, just for fun. Oh. <gasps> Take your legs off. Oh. <laughs> See, he's trying to steal those balls. Right, okay. If I get off, I'm going to hurt myself. All right, I'm trying not to. Oh, my testicles. Right, go. Our son is feral. Absolutely feral. Seriously, what's that about? Any puddle, face first, muddy, clean, doesn't care. It's Monday morning, Monday lunchtime. The weekend has passed, we are tired. I'm wearing this in July. Doesn't that just speak volumes about where we're at in life? Rosie and I are going to go out for lunch. We need a change of scene. Am I right, Roseanne? I've just had my therapy and I'm really tired. Um, so I need to have a decaf coffee because that's gonna do it. <laughs> Rosie and I are getting nervous about the chickens. <laughs> <laughs> she just made the better man. She was like, do you still do chickens? And they were like, yes, we do. And Rose was like, great. We're just getting the pre-chicken nerves, aren't we? The dogs will bark and bark and bark. I guess they'll just get used to them. Either that or they'll kill them. That's what we've got. I was learning oh, about it. Oh, babe. Apparently, they're really sentient beings. Apparently, they're so lovely and got real personalities. Oh, like you. No, this is what babe, I have you noticed? You you are starting to look more like a chicken every day. I said I did. Look, I want to get them one of these next. Do you think we should get them the TV? Uh, yes, please. Oh, uh, yes, please. <laughs> oh, my finger is disgusting. I'm going to have the coronation chicken. Oh, the coronation yeah, chicken. The well, Your glasses look, look lovely, Rosie. They look really nice. What did you say to me when we were walking in because it was raining? I said, I'm your little lady, treat me as such. What I'm getting really angry about is the fact that Rosie keeps saying, you've got two pearls in your eye. I'm so tired all of the time. Yeah, I get mascara goop. I'm human. It's not mascara goop. What is it? It's like this bedtime morning, sleep no, goop. This morning, what happened? I was talking to you, having a lovely conversation, and then I look away for a second, look back, and there you are eating your own bone piece. <laughs> I only it. ate one. I only ate one. Right, that was delicious lunch. Delicious lunch. Are you right? What are we doing this afternoon? I'm actually having my laser, aren't I? But my beard removed. Are you right? I waxed your tash yesterday, didn't I? <laughs> Sometimes when you're creating content, Rosie, the truth does come out. We bought two lots of chalky chip brioche rolls. It's one of those days, Rosie, I'm going to be really that. annoying. <laughs> Drive. I've just had a Diet Coke and I haven't had caffeine in about Drive. the last time. I'm having a heart attack, Rosie! <laughs> Can't turn off, Rosie. Rose! <laughs> is he looking at me? Right, the thing is, that normally works, but not this time. Not... <laughs> right, okay, I'm going to go outside. I don't want you to follow me. <laughs> yeah, those are Crocs, all right? Take a picture, it'll last longer. <laughs> Why am I crawling on the floor? What is life? Just had my beard lasered. There's nothing like being honest on the internet, is there? Yeah, I've just had my beard lasered. Do I miss it? Yeah, I do. So I'm gonna get home now. I'm gonna pick up the boy later. Uh, I've got a few errands to run, uh, such as <laughs> free thing. So basically, we want this garden at the back to be a kitchen garden. We're even gonna get rid of these holly trees. They're so problematic. They're really, really big. They offer nothing. Um, and there's holly leaves all over the place. So Ziggy can't play. These guys hurt their paws. So we think they're going, but Rosie obviously takes some convincing. So we're putting this kind of like curved wavy trellis all along that back wall. And we're gonna have fruit trees growing up them. We're gonna have three sleeper beds going that way so I can grow my veg properly. We're gonna have gates on the side of the house so we can keep the dogs and the chickens back here not together <laughs> but just protected from you know eagles let's talk about it let's talk about it oh hello 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 honestly dangerous hello hello can you believe i grew all of these from seed <laughs> apparently they should be red before we pick them but um i say just go for it Do you know what i mean i mean they look more like grapes Nothing. I just lost one, so I thought I'd try it, even though I know it's green. But I didn't 
green. I don't know. I just didn't want to. It's like a grape. <laughs> I said that. I made that joke. It tastes oh, like God, a gooseberry. Right now. So, sustainable living, what do you think? Is it all you've dreamed of? More tomato seeds? Can you take your gun away? So, if you guys read our book, you'll know that I have a tick. It's like Tourette's, and I thought I had Tourette's for a long time. So it's not Tourette's, but it's similar in that I shout words. I shouts things <laughs> but i think the reason i never got it sorted was because i had more pressing issues to deal with i was i was having a mentally unwell time and i went to therapy and we did talking therapy and all this stuff came up and then when i started using better help you guys all have heard the story before but i had a bit of postpartum anxiety some depression that's what i was focusing on then i never got round to dealing with the tick because I had other things going on. Like I was so anxious I, I didn't leave the house because I didn't want to drive. You know, that was a more pressing issue. Now I've got myself in a really mentally well place. I was like, you know, I think it's time to finally tackle the tick because I'm doing nothing about it. And if I do nothing about it, things will just stay the same, right? I decided to sign back up to BetterHelp. I'm so glad that I did. I got matched with the perfect person. It's so funny because you're always a bit nervous to start, right? I'm always nervous to talk to a stranger. So I said I didn't want to do video calls and we don't, we just do a voice call. BetterHelp is just so accessible for everyone. You just go online, fill in a little form about what you want from your therapist and you can be, you can really be choosing or not, I left mine really open because I trust it to just, you know, find me the right person. Don't vibe with your person, it's free to switch. You can just switch to a different therapist. Oh, it's so easy. I've had to reschedule my therapist a few times because I've been really busy and she's so cute. She checks in on me as well. I was like, is everything okay? I noticed you rescheduled your session. Like, she's amazing. Honestly, you know, genuinely, we've used it and we love it. We love the service. I really, really enjoy it. It's just such an amazing, incredible tool to grow. If you want to check out BetterHelp, there's a link in the description box below. It's betterhelp.com forward slash Rose and Rosie. And if you click that link, you get 10% off your first month of BetterHelp. Connect with a therapist and see if it works for you. You okay? Yeah, but I've got the pseudocrem on my Don't worry about that. Okay. Just tell the camera what you just told me. So I just, because I erected my egg loop, cube um you have to have a picture of your hen house before you adopt so they know you know so they yeah. know you're looking after them so i just managed to take a picture and, and speak to the lady on the phone she said we're rescuing in september we've got a date um ex caged hens and she said now just so you know she took me through it she said um the when the day you rescue them they've never seen the light of day she said they've never seen the sky it'll be the first time they've ever been outside so she was like when you get them, they probably won't want to go out of their coop. Aww. So you'll have to encourage them because they've never done it before. And then she was like, and then they probably won't want to go back in. <laughs> so she's like, just a bit of patience. You okay? Yeah. I'm really excited to get yeah, them though. I'm really to have We're going to get three, aren't we? They've never been outside. They've never seen the sky. I know, it's, it's so bad. So we start off with three, just because I think, let's start off. Monica, Phoebe and Rachel. Five. Yeah. Hennifer. And then we'll get our fourth one, that'll be Janice. And that'll be the mistake. <laughs> it's happening. She had a panic attack last night and she ate, um, I think a whole bag of mini eggs in stress because she worried she made the wrong decision. But I think she made the right decision. I'm really excited that these are going. Look at them, getting their roots pulled out. I've just had my roots done, I understand. It's been a week since I last spoke to you and the holly trees are gone. I've moved the grow home. These bad boys are looking great. So all that needs to be done now is the pointing in between the slabs and we're having a gate across there and a bin store so you can't see those ugly bitches. Speaking of which, hello Flynn, how are you? <laughs> What's even more exciting is that I have just harvested my first mini cucumber from the grow home and I'm gonna have it with a homemade chili because that is weekend vibes. <laughs> Moving a piece of dirt to another piece of dirt. Okay, making more mess. More. That's it, one more. In it goes. More. Great, good job. That's a bit big that one, isn't it? Okay, go on then, put it in. Good boy, excellent. Productive. Hi guys, how's it going? The garden is finished. Uh, but more importantly, <laughs> Rosie wants to dress as if it, there's a wedding no, happening out I'm here. Because she loves it so much. Isn't it lovely? Thank you. <laughs> so, um, it's stuck. Oh, Rosie, are you all right? Okay, hold on. 
the omelette coop is there, but obviously we're gonna have it here with like a bigger outdoor run for them. If we want them really free range, we've put these gates in, which are so nice. So they can just run around when they want, which is really, really cute. And also it means that we can keep the dogs either side. So this morning, I'm just gonna plant everything that I need to plant and, um, and get drunk. <laughs> Hello, Bobby. Look at you Bobie. and your yaks, I'm sorry. Bobby said, I just was stood here about to make a snack. And I was just like, <laughs> you are a snack. You and your pink next to the yellow, I'm gonna film a video. I was like, okay. I'm sorry, I really like our colour choices. I love to make an effort and dress up. Yeah. And I put on dungarees and rose all day. And I wore them yesterday, has been like, you look so good. Yeah, oh, you in a hoodie and jeans. I'm like, oh, you look great, Rosie. Thanks for making an effort. What are those plants What's behind the chicken coop? Show them your work. I Babe, do you think I haven't already showed them my work? Let me do this like I've done something, ready? Okay, got them. Oh, do you want that to be the thumbnail? Guys, just when I thought I was done, I built this contraption. Look at it. Isn't it just so good? 